All right, what is going on YouTube? It is the one and only Mr. D, or what you guys have called me, uh, Senor D. And I'm coming through with comic book haul number 17. It's been a hot little second. Things have kind of slowed down for me. I've been actually selling more books on eBay than I have been picking books up. So it's going to be a relatively small haul. Uh, that being said, if you're not subscribed and this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you like and comment on this video because I love chatting it up with all you guys and seeing what you guys think of the books I pick up. Uh, so let's get right into this. First of all, I got a nice big stack of books from the one and only Spidey fan. Absolutely amazing YouTuber. Love all the videos that he puts out. The guy is super knowledgeable. Uh, he just always shows off good books. And he's really big into sketch uh, covers as well. So he was having a 700 subscriber appreciation live video. He started off with doing some giveaways and it kind of turned into an auction thing. So the first book that he gave away, and I happened to win it, was The Invincible Iron Man number 10. And this is the first appearance of Rescue. This book was heating up for a hot second. I think it was going for about 20 bucks now. So thank you, Spidey fan. Then he also had, like I mentioned, he had some auctions going on. At the very end of the live stream, he had an $80 blind box. Everyone in chat seemed to think that I should go ahead and buy it. So since it was supporting Side Spidey Fan, I went ahead and did it. And I want to show you guys what was in that box. So he sent me the whole entire collection of The Vision, the director's cut. And these are big, thick books. And I've been really excited to uh, get my hands on these and get to read them because it was written by Tom King. So, uh... Division Director's Cut number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, and that completes that. He also sent me this Mighty Avengers number 10. This is a variant, not sure who the artist is, but I'm really liking the uh, 70s kind of throwback there. He also sent me the Star Wars Adventures, number 14. This is uh, uh, da, 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 retail uh, variant. My kid really likes Chewbacca, it's his favorite Star Wars character, so my kid will be loving this book. He also included Weapons of Mutant Destruction, number one. Now, I don't have a lot of Valiant books, so it's kind of cool that he sent these. Uh, he sent me uh, Rai, History of the Valiant Universe, number one. And then Rai, number 12, which is kind of a cool cover. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of Valiant, so it's kind of cool to add those to the collection. He also sent me this Batgirl, number nine. Beautiful art germ. Venom, first host, number four. This is the variant. Sent me this kick ass Red Sonia number 21. This is the blood red, whoa, blood red uh, sketch variant. There we go. See a little bit better there. So that's really cool. Big Red Sonia fan. Let's get these off to the side. He also sent me a copy of X Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red. Nice copy as well. This book I was really excited to get. This is He-Man and Masters of the Universe, number 18. I think this might be a, is this possibly a Dave Wilkins cover? Not 100% sure on that, but I've seen this book before. Really happy to get this. He also sent me Iron Man, number 282. First appearance of War Machine. And last but not least, he sent me the whole entire Gotham Girls set. So you got number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So once again, thank you Spidey Fan for not only having that live show, that was a lot of fun. There's a lot of great YouTubers in the chat, but thank you for having that auction and thank you for the awesome books. Uh, next up, this next little stack of books I got, I roamed down into Rockford, Illinois to the Cherryvale Mall. I saw on Facebook that there was going to be some vendors selling comic books, 
when I first got there, the first vendor that I went to, all of his books were pretty much con prices, and I wasn't really feeling it. In fact, I didn't pick out any books from his collection. My one buddy met me down there. He had bunk bought a Funkyo Pop from what I thought was the same vendor. Uh, there's another vendor right next to this guy. Uh, come to find out that that vendor was a separate vendor because I wasn't even going to look through those books because I thought they were both the same company. Uh, it turned out that they were not the same company. This was a separate vendor. He had all of his books pressed for $1. So all these books I got for a dollar, or that's what I was supposed to get. So I got this nice big stack of 26 books, and at the end of it, he's like, since you're buying so many books, I'm going to give you a deal. I thought 26 books, he'd tell me 20 bucks. And that's why I preemptively thought. Uh, he only charged me $10 for all these books I'm about to show you. And there's some good stuff in here. So first off, I picked up JSA, 70, what is it, 73? Nice Shazam cover. Really nice condition, too. Justice Society of America, number nine. Nice little Alex Ross power girl there. Black Panther number five, J. Scott Campbell, and first appearance of Siri as Black Panther. New Avengers number five, a nice David Finch cover, Wolverine there. New Avengers number 11, uh, first Hawkeye as Ronan. So I got those off for a buck. Still going with the dollar books. Batman 608. Too bad it wasn't the second print, right? But since I have the second print, I have to get the first print. 609. 610. 611. Yep, 612 was in there. Real happy about that. It's my second copy, 613. Didn't have this, really wanted this because the uh, Harley. 614, didn't have this, but wanted it because of the Jim Lee Joker cover. 615, 616, 617. I didn't pick up the 619s or the 618s because I don't know why I didn't grab 618, but I didn't pick up 619 because I already had uh, both the hero and the villain uh, covers of that. So, still rolling with the dollar books. Now, remember all these books. I got for $10, so it actually came out to $0.38 cents that I paid for each one of these. Uncanny X-Men, 283, first bishop on the cover. Iron Man, 219, first appearance of Ghost. Guardians of the Galaxy, 13, uh, kind of, sort of, first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think they're actually recognizing this as uh, something nowadays. Wow. Whatever. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 97. First was this uh, Night Thrasher. Uncanny X-Men 248. First Jim Lee on the X-Men title. Second copy of that. X-Men, or sorry about that, uh, Captain America 360. First appearance of Crossbones. I should have grabbed, he had 359 in there too, which is actually the first cameo. I should have picked that up, but um, I didn't, so. I just grabbed that. Uh, Batman 475, first appearance of Rene Mantoil, right, I think? Uh, either way, I know I've seen it in other people's videos, so I picked it up. Gets better. Batman 655, first appearance of Damian Wayne, second copy. And the one that really took the cake. Actually, this was the second book I saw out of this guy's pile when I started digging. And right when I saw this book, I went through every single one of his long boxes. And that is Batman 635, Jason, or, uh, yeah, Jason Todd as Red Hood. And this is a really, really nice copy. So, yeah. That big, huge stack of books I just went through... Ten dollars thirty-eight cents. Can't go wrong with that. So moving on, let's go into some other books I picked up. 
what the color adjusts there. Um, just because we all know that Carnage is going to be in the next upcoming Venom movies. Um, picked up this Carnage, number one. This is the one in ten uh, Clay and Crane variant. Not really a big fan of the whole cover, but uh, like I said, with, with the Carnage craze, that's probably going to be coming up as more and more details about that movie get released and a date and all that stuff. I think Carnage properties are only going to get uh, more expensive and more sought after. Catwoman number four, Art Germ. These finally came. This was my order from Unknown. That was supposed to come in the beginning of October. Just finally got them now. Art Germ, Catwoman. Pre-order these. Wonder Woman 56. Uh, Jenny Frizen covers. I've already had two other copies. Uh, actually, I just sold one on eBay, and I already sold one uh, previously on eBay as well. So I think I still have two more copies in my long boxes. Uh, let's see, what else? Then from the LCS, I picked up Detective Comics 992. It's a Delato cover. Red Hood Outlaw number 28. Yasmin Putri. Wonder Woman 58, Jenny Frizen, Harley Quinn 54, Frank Cho. I'm collecting all these, uh, collecting all these season, I don't know why I had the brain fart, uh, I'm collecting all the season variants, he's got an autumn one, or this is the autumn one, he's got a spring one and a summer one, uh, so I think it'll be a nice little four book lot, uh, to hang on to. Plus, I, again, I've mentioned it before, I love all the Frank Cho black and white sketch uh, covers. Uh, Aquaman 42 movie variant. I believe this was done by Ben Oliver. So, let's see how that catches on. Teen Titans 24, Alex Gardner. I picked up uh, 53, which was the or not 53, 23, which was the Robin. So I figured I'm just going to put this. I'm assuming he's probably going to do a whole set of all the characters. Uh, so I'll put that in a lot as well. So a little Alex Gardner goodness there. Somehow my LCS was able to find me one of these. Uh, as you guys know, I have the black and white sketch, but now I have the color as well. Uh, and this is Justice League number eight, Jim Lee. This looks uh, absolutely awesome next to the black and white sketch. So really happy to have got that. And then a book that I think is a little underrated, not a lot of people talk about it. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anyone even show this book. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, I really like this book. I think it's really underrated. I think the artist who did the cover uh, is kind of underrated. And this is Batman 680. This is the 1 in 25 Tony Daniels. I love this book. And I love this cover. I love the red. Uh, and I love that it's Joker fighting Batman right on the cover. Uh, and just the way that the Joker looks. Um, I don't know. There's not much to not like about this cover. How it's not more sought after is kind of beyond me. Like I said, this is a 1 in 25. Uh, and I think it's pretty well done. Tony Daniels really does a lot of good covers, and not a lot of people give him a lot of credit. Uh, but I really like a lot of his work. He's got some stuff uh, on the Deathstroke New 52 series, <clears throat> excuse me, that I really like. And again, I just I think he's kind of underrated. So I'm gonna give the man his props. I also had uh, Middle West's number one, the one in twenty variant ordered and. Apparently the eBay seller that I bought it from decided to tell me that Diamond didn't sell, uh, send him any of the variants and sent him all regular covers. Um, and he still hasn't even refunded me, but long story short is I'm not going to get my Middle West, number one, one in 20. Kind of pissed off about that because I really wanted to actually read that book. So I did pre-order from a much more reliable source the second print of that. So I'm really anxious to finally get my hands on that book and read it. The little bit of the previews I saw, the storyline really intrigued me. So if anyone out there has read Middle West and has some opinions about the story and the book, feel by all means, please comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the story uh, and see if it's something that you guys are going to continue to read or if you're kind of, mm. so far the reviews that I've read about it have been good and promising. Uh, but like I said, I never got my copy and I'm not going to pay 
the 80 to 100 bucks that that book is going for now on eBay for the variant. Yeah, I know I could get the regular copy, but I didn't really want the regular cover. So I'll just sell with the second print because I actually prefer that cover over the regular first print cover. Uh, and finally, the last book that I got, I got this from my favorite comic book shop down in Maryville, Tennessee. Now, keep in mind, I live in Wisconsin, but the best comic book shop in the world is in Maryville, Tennessee. It's the old golden age. Uh, awesome people, awesome store, great prices, super friendly, super huge, huge collection of books, awesome wall books, and again, just overall amazing people so whenever i can't get a hold of a book i just facebook message my buddies down there and if they have the book they mail it to me so i've done this quite a few times so it's really awesome that they're willing to do that for me uh and i picked up black order number one uh this is the one in 50 in huck lee and they charged me ratio for it so i paid 50 bucks for this and this book has since gone up to about 100 to 150 bucks so i'm really happy to get this uh in huck lee beautiful cover so that is going to do it for me here uh youtube hopefully this isn't the last haul that i have for 2018 if it is i will probably do a year end review i don't have a lot of more i don't have a lot of books uh pre-ordered and I don't really see having the time to go hunting uh, really anytime soon. There's a small show coming up that I might be able to hit up. Like I said, I got a few things pre-ordered, but I just I don't think it's going to be enough to do a video. That's uh, unless I buy some stuff off one of the live auctions here on YouTube, or if I start going crazy on Instagram or Facebook. But I don't really see that happening uh, based on the fact that it's getting to be close to the holidays and whatnot. Uh, so this may be the last haul that I do for 2018. If it is, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all the people that have watched my videos. God bless you guys. Happy holidays. Be safe. Love the people around you. And uh, stay tuned because I'll probably do a uh, top 25 or 50 books of 2018 or a 2018 review uh, before the New Year's. So thank you guys once again. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. God bless, and we will catch you guys later.